Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're playing one two cash games. Buying for this game is two hundred dollars. So we have button open here, three betting small bunnies king. So see the call gets start here, ace queen four, and queen on the turn checking. Did not want that. So we face small bet. I'm uh, gonna call here, and then river gets kind of uh, tough. Ace of, or ten of hearts river. Ah, uh, so we block the king jack. We block the hearts. The problem is, like, their best bluffs are going to be, like, if they were using, like, Jack-10, or sorry, like, King-Jack, which now gets there with a straight two. Um, Jack-10, King-10, which I think is still reasonable to go for the bluff here. But I think I'm going to make a tighter fold here on the river. Here, playing heads up, raise... Pre get called, bet the ace seven, they raise. They start a bit shorter. I think we're just gonna get this with, with top top on the flop. Heads up. Yeah, six four for the flop straight. Oh boy. We'll take a chop. Uh, a little tease on the turn, but end up getting in there and get stacked. Alright, so see the three bets. Uh some flatting, some four betting, 140 bigs effective. We're gonna go for the four bet this time. Alright, big pre-flop pot, ace four suited, hold. Nice, ace king's good. Three betting jack 10 suited, so this goes button open with three bet. I gotta double check here if I'm supposed to call if I three bet jack 10 out of the big blind. Probably gonna get four bet here because I can't remember. <laughs> I'll probably get punished for that. Uh, instead, see the call though. And I am gonna go for the big C bet here. See the call, drill the straight. I'm actually gonna check the turn here. So, four liner comes out, we have the long end of the straight. They bet small, not gonna check, right? Just gonna call. Uh, if they jam, we obviously snap it off. Has a set, just hold, and we do. Nice. Jack 10, good versus set. All right, so really strong formations under the gun, hijack a button. But we have kings. Even if it goes jam, jam, I would actually kind of feel sick, but because interest should be super tight. But we'll get in kings here against ace queen, looking for the hold. Oh, haste on the flop. Uh, I just can't hold until the river. Let's go. Oh, what a roller coaster of emotions with kings. Drill it on the end. King seven suit over here. Button opens. We defend. Flop the nut flush. Drop the ace of hearts out there and a pair. Uh, so we see a big bet, and I'm still gonna check raise here. So we got bottom pair with the nut flush drop. So see the call. Turn two pairs. Interesting. Um, so it's a weaker two pair. I'm trying to think if I still bet again. I think we do because I think he's gonna jam sometimes with like his good ace x to protect here. Now we do lose like ace king, obviously. I'm trying to think what to do on the river. I think the river I actually would probably check if we don't hit a boat or a flush. As ace eight, so we are behind here against two pair. Ah, uh, three in the river. No good, so we need a heart king or seven and didn't get it. Huge flop here, so we open, get called, flop the flush. Uh, goes for big bets. Go ahead and check raise. See the call, five on the turn. Hot turn here. And then queen on the river. So it brings in the four liner. Obviously we have the flush. Hopefully they have a smaller flush. Not the ace or king high flush. I think it's okay to check raise and go for three streets blinders blind here. I don't think we'd want to do it with every flush, but I think this one's definitely good enough. So we'll be all in. And I see the full takedown with queen six. All right, opening king here. Big line three bets. F some flatting, some four betting. We're going to go for the four bet this time. Calls. All right, interesting flop here. So I think still mostly betting. Obviously, top top feels pretty good. I would probably actually check the turn most of the time. They just call if they jam here. We do worry about like some two pairs, some straights, but just gonna be calling as played. And as eight seven of clubs, so we got sixty three percent. Oof, chop. All right, Broadway comes in on the river. We're gonna get four bet. Just gonna call in position. Flop an ace, ace seven six rainbow, bit deeper to start. Playing about 150 bigs effective. Uh, guts for third here, call. So we got the ace in the back door flush draw. Turn the back door flush draw. Uh, so if he were to, I don't think we'll face jam. If we do, we would call. And against any other bet size, we just call. I think I probably will. He goes small bet though, we just call. If we don't hit a jack or club on the river, it's actually a pretty interesting spot, but hopefully we just hit a club. Nice, got the nuts. Let's go. 171 back, 264 in the middle. 
So we drill the backdoor flush, jam, snap it off, good versus ace king. Wow, we need the club. Sick. Alright, so we three bet aces here, get called. King eight six, going for bet. So bet call, go ahead and bet turn. And six river. So it does pair the six. <sighs> but when I bet the turn, I don't know if he's going to continue much. I mean, we're, I check an eight, I think bet a six though, because I think it's more, more 8x than 6x here is played. It's going to be kind of sick. We have like 5, 6, or 7, 6, but I think we still jam targeting king. And see the call. King, queen, nice. Yep, so we get the value there. Um, Obedee's 10 suited, get 3 back, going to flatten position here. Queen, 7, 4, 2 clubs, 1 spade. And against half pot, I think can peel this. Um, so we turn a 10, but it's a club. Do we ever bet if check two? I think we just want to check back. Small size on the turn. Not thrilled, but we'll call against small, but I would fold it river. It's not an ace or 10. It's not a club. And base jam on the river and be out. So we got open. We three bet. See a cold caller. Uh, king, king, six. I think small bet here is fine. Okay, I was going to say checking some turns here, but king on the turn. Half pot turn. Snap calls. All right. Show me the jacks or tens. And call. So we're going to be jamming 128 into 159 here. Calls with a six. Let's go. King Jack's good. Big pot. Raising the flop here. We flop a set. So this is blind versus blinds. Just rips it in. All right. We call. Aces hold. Nice, two big pots there back to back actually against the same player. Open, we three back cold call. Uh, 49 puts like pot behind. I'm just going to get this in, but I'm not really sure. This doesn't feel super good. Just threes, all right, hold. Nice, all right, we do hold there. See the cold call. And burnt calls as well. 955, five. gonna start with a small bet here. We're all really deep. I'm actually maybe supposed to check this, but um, if Burnt were to call here, I'd probably start checking turn, particularly on like 10, because like we're targeting 10s. This so is maybe a little nitty, but I think we probably want to start checking. And then Deuce on the River go for value is played. If we face a raise from either player, it's kind of nasty. I maybe don't even need to go this big with my river bets, but I mainly just expect like tens full, nines full. Oh boy, this player raises. Oh, geez. All right, so 124 hands, 53, 31, and six. They did check the turn through. I think this stat line is one that's a little less likely to go for the trap necessarily. Are they ever raising queens or jacks here? Not realizing I have these over pairs. They cold call. They play a wide range of hands, but 5x becomes less likely. I beat anything that's not 10s or 9s, probably. I'm just going to call, I think. Hope they're doing this with queens or jacks sometimes. 10s. Nice hand. I was worried about that. I think their stat line just barely makes me want to call the kings. Turn the straight here. So this is, we open the 2. They make it 6. Call, call. We call the flop for half. 7 river. Uh, this one makes it hard to get paid, unfortunately. I think we just want to bet out. Beep can find some bluffs too, but queen eight would be nice. King queen, chop it up. 